Okay, we're in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Uh, I brought this up, added this movie that came with Pinnacle just to show you how to author your DVD. In other words, you want to get it ready to play. Burn on the disc and you're done. Uh, the first thing that I will say though is <clears throat> before you do this, decide where you want your chapters. Decide how many chapters you have where you want each one to start and stop and if you bring your cursor here to that point and put one of these markers that is going to indicate where each one of your chapters stops and the other one starts I would do that through the entire movie now this is one way of doing it I'm going to go through this just one way there's another way too but for now we'll do it this way once you have that done Another important thing to remember is if you have an empty track that is on the top of everything else, that's the very first track, and you have the, it highlighted, you see here where it's orange, that means this track's highlighted. If I click up in this track, you see the orange over here, that means this track's highlighted. If you have an empty track in here and it's highlighted and you go to do this process, it's not going to work right. So you either got to do one of two things. You have to either get rid of the empty track that's nothing in it or you have to come down to the track where you have material in it and highlight it so this orange over here and you know it's highlighted by the light gray. Once you do that then you're ready and you have your markers in place. You want to go up to the author button. First thing you'll notice is that there's a extra what looks like a track but it's not it's just your menu list up here and this is where you're going to be dragging all of your uh, menus to get to your menus you can either go to navigation and disk menus or there's a lot of times it's already up here you click on it and it's going to open up a dialog box for all of the disk menus now when it opens you're going to notice one thing that there looks like there's two of everything uh, really there's not this is the first menu that you come to is what you're going to see initially when you drop your disc into the player this is what's going to sit there and either do nothing or play or it has music sound behind it it's got motion behind it if you want it but it's going to sit there till you decide whether you want to play the movie or go to a scene selection just like any other normal DVD does so that is the first one. First one. First one. The second one is what we'll get to later is where you add your scene selection. So for the right now we're going to deal with this first one here. You can see the one that matches it is down here. And we'll drag, all you do is drag and drop the uh, menu down into this menu track. So we'll drag that down to here. And you'll see since you had the track highlighted that actually has something in it, you're going to see chapter one, C1 in that. That would be, if you leave it just like it is, it's going to play the entire movie every time. That's the only choice you're really going to have because the scene selection won't be, it won't even be there because you don't have any of the other scenes selected. This button here is what it, it's a simulator to see what it would look like if you finished your movie right then and put it into a DVD player. See, there's only a play movie, and you can adjust this to say whatever you want. You have a little background in here, and, there's, and it just repeats, but I don't particularly like that. But the main thing here is that you have one choice, and that's because you don't have any other scenes or chapters selected. Now, you go to the next menu button. This is your scene selection you drag it down too. Now what it does, it brings in these chapters for you to choose from. There are three here but that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave three here. You can go into an edit and you can add more boxes. Okay, in fact we'll just go ahead and do that. If you want more than three chapters 
inside of your menu. So here are the three chapters, your text. Now these I would leave this, these alone because these, this gets you back to your main screen previous and next. You don't really want to mess with those. But for these, you can either delete these or you can bring in more. All right. Um, now. What I just did was I right clicked on here and hit copy, clicked out into the red and hit paste. And what that did was it gave me a copy of this button. All right. Now the number one that you see is just something they stick back there. It doesn't, doesn't mean it's linked to anything as a number one. It's, you just don't have anything, a picture or anything like that linked to that button. Now, if you want to resize them, you can click on one, hold control, click on the rest, and then when you resize them, you're going to resize them all the same size. Okay? You move them, click outside, and then you can click on each one and drag it where you want. And you can do this as many times as you want, as many buttons that you want inside of your menu. You can space these out, make them look a little better. Don't worry about what's showing up inside the box yet. You'll deal with that later. Now underneath is says chapter number. You can change that by clicking on it uh, and change it to anything you want to say. Same as this. Now, while you're in your editor with your text, you can click into your standard shadow and all that. You can change the way your text looks. Anytime you're in any text box, you can do that. So now we have four buttons. Okay. We're going to click on that. Okay. So now we're back on menu two. And this menu is going to serve as more or less a template. If I tell this program that I want a chapter for every mark, I think there are seven marks here. Um, there's only four in this. So it's going to make another one duplicate of this to get to the other three that are left. I hope you understand that. It's, there's four here. If you would have put seven in here and there are seven chapters, it would only need one menu box. But you know, if you don't want to crowd it up, you only have four, it's going to make two of these and I'll show you what that looks like now. Um, while you're in your menu too, and you have all your markers here, if you click here, a dialog box comes open that lets you do one of two things. You can either have a chapter made at an interval, whether that's 10 seconds or one minute, whatever you choose, or for timeline markers. And since we have markers in our timeline, that's what I want. These stand for each chapter, so I want it to make a new chapter at every marker. I want to do this for the whole movie, and I want to link these chapters to the buttons. This here is that a choice that you would make that every time the chapter ends, it goes to the very beginning of the movie again. I don't particularly like that because if you want to see one after the other after the other it won't do that it will go back to the beginning so leave that unchecked and click OK and what it's going to do now is it's going to make buttons for every marker and each marker is going to be a chapter one two three four see so if you click here there's five six and seven we only have seven markers so it made seven chapters this you can always get rid of later. You go into edit and just take this whole button out. Okay. Now, if you notice inside of these, since you've made chapters, you see now thumbnails in there. These are the clips that are right above your marker. All right. So if you happen to move this above marker one, you see that. That is the clip that's there. If you do not want that clip, if you want another clip out of your movie to be the little thumbnail for your button, let's say you want these mountains to be there. You 
click on your menu button and which chapter you want this thumbnail to be for slide it to the thumbnail and click on this button that says set thumbnail it's going to use the marker the uh, scrubber they call it position to set the thumbnail for that button so when you click on this now menu two's button chapter one will be the thumbs you'll see it change there you go you do that for each one if you don't like these pictures now the thing is you can bring any picture in as a background to these it doesn't it doesn't matter just most of the time you want it to be something that's out of your movie so now we have eight buttons seven chapters right let's get rid of the chapter we're not going to do first that's easy enough to do you just click on it hit delete and it's gone and like I said you can, can change this to whatever text you want up here click OK and the button's gone we have a black background for the seventh movie but you, I just showed you how to change that so you can change that if you want okay now you'll notice here in your main menu that scene selection is a red box with a question mark it doesn't know what scenes that you want connected to this menu same as with the menu buttons it has little red boxes with errors in it that says this menu is not reachable because there are no links to it so what this is asking you to do is link a main menu button to these so it will know which one's to link to. That is this main button here. Now, once you're in the main menu, you click on this down arrow and you tell it you want to link to menu 2. When you do that, it will link to here. This is already linked to that, so it'll link all three of these together. And now you have menu 2 is the menu that it's linked to. So now if you go into menu 1 and you want to see what this is going to look like inside of your DVD player when it's playing on your TV now you have the scene selection here. And this is just a simulator for your DVD so this is like the controller on your D remote control. Now if you click in scene selection you're going to have four scenes, four chapters here that come up for you to choose from. If you click on any of these it'll play that chapter or you can go to the next set of chapters that you made. So they are the three. And you can click on any of these and when you do it plays that chapter. And you can get back to your main menu here. That is how you create chapters for your movie. This is how you do a scene selection. Everything, every chapter that you've made with these markers now, you assign to a button and then in scene selection you can get to either one of those. So that's how you do it.